Hello there. Welcome to my vodcast. It's the James B. Podcast. It's a visual podcast, making it a vodcast. Every Friday, jamesb.ca, you can find it. You can also find this little bit here, the intro, on Facebook and other social media. And, of course, uh, we're going to get to an in-depth interview every week. I talk to somebody fascinating. And if you go to jamesb.ca, you can see all the old podcasts, 35 of them so far. Um, Sundar Viswanathan is over at the Old Mill Inn, and I want to dive right into listings and then thank a few sponsors. Uh, I got excited about this because he's a sax player and a singer, and he's been around for a few years. Uh, I probably met him about a decade ago, and uh, just a big fan of him. He's with Roy Patterson on guitar, Louis Simeo on bass, and Daniel Barnes on drums. Old Mill Inn at the Homesmith Bar, it is from 7.30 till 10.30 on Fridays and Saturdays. No cover. $20 minimum, that's easy enough, and lots of parking outside, but it's also steps from the Old Mill subway station. Now on Saturday, something equally exciting, the Hiltz family singers. Nathan Hiltz is a wonderful guitar player, very well known. Well, what he's done is he's written a whole bunch of original music and found three amazing singers. His wife, Melissa Lauren, also Shannon Butcher, and Jessica Lalonde, the three of them getting together to do beautiful harmonies on original music at the Homesmith Bar tomorrow night, 7.30 to 10.30. Information on that, a Homesmith Bar, uh, oldmilltoronto.com, and then click on entertainment and you'll get the Homesmith Bar. Uh, Hughes Room Live, okay, Saturday, tomorrow night, Al Kahawa, it's a CD release, I know Ernie Toller and his wife Miriam are in this band. It's uh, Egyptian songs, uh, songs, uh, uh, Sufi devotional love songs, and more. It's world music, and it's really beautiful, and all kinds of instruments you won't recognize, but you will love the sound of. Um, so that's happening. Uh, tickets are $20, and you get a free CD with entry. It's 25 at the door, 20 advance, free CD. So you're basically getting a free concert. Um, I did say CD. They don't have vinyl or 8-tracks at this moment. Um, Thursday, August 15th, Lachi Doli. Lachi Doli is Australia's most celebrated B3 player. If you like Brian Auger's Oblivion Express, and who doesn't, uh, you'll love this. It's rock music with a B3 organ. So cool. So that's Thursday, August 15th. Now over at Jazz Beach Bistro, tonight, Atrin Madani. I met Atrin. He's a young man from uh, Berlin. He's got a lot of fans here, uh, musicians, singers. Uh, a lot of people know him already, so get your tickets now at jazzbistro.ca. Uh, Heather Bambrick is there tomorrow night, Saturday night, with a brand new CD launch, and Wednesday, Lisa Particelli's Girls' Night Out. That's a open mic where men can sing too, and it's very popular. It only happens once a month over there at Jazz Bistro. And then finally, on Thursday, the Alexander Brown Quartet. What a wicked trumpet player he is. So lots of cool stuff happening at Jazz Bistro. Uh, I should mention next weekend, just in case you're already looking ahead that far, Brian Dickinson Trio is there. He's a phenomenal piano player. And so if you want tickets for that, you might as well pick them up while you're getting tickets for other stuff too. Now there are festivals galore. South Coast Jazz uh, over in Port Dover. They got the Powder Blues Band, Eric St. Laurent, Dave Restivo. Now I'm booked at Markham Jazz Festival and that is a wonderful festival. I've been there for about 20 years. I've emceed over 10 of them, probably close to 14. I, I lost count. Um, but I love this festival. Downtown Unionville, little tiny street uh, three big stages and then all these little things happening everywhere. The whole village comes alive. And um, from New York City, Brandy Disterheft is coming. From the West Coast, Michael Casehammer is coming. Some of my favorite locals are there. George Kohler has a set. Allison Young has her own show. Tia Brazda, Jay Douglas, John Finley. So much stuff happening Friday, Saturday, Sunday and information at MarkhamJazzFestival.com. Now, one last thing, I do want to thank my sponsors before I bring up my, my guest. Uh, I want to thank uh, BarbaraFinancial.com. Here's a guy who's given me financial advice and helped me out a lot. Well, he can help you too. And uh, really, just ask him anything. It could be really big. Oh, I got a company. I got eight employees. I got to find some benefit packages. Or it could be, hey, I stubbed my toe. No, probably not that. Well, anyway, something personal. Maybe your own finances, not something so big. Um, and then uh, Barbarian Steakhouse, 
Love the food there. Thank you, Aaron Barbarian. And I uh, want to thank everybody at Patreon. That's a big one because you could do that. $5 a month, $10 a month, whatever you want to do to help me out. I'm an independent artist and every bit helps. Thank you to the people who are supporting this. Five bucks a month. You want to do that? We'll go there. Okay, now time for my guest. Who is it? You'll see. Yeah! Hey, it's me, Alan, and this is my first interview. All right, Alan, uh, is it true you were born in Toronto? Yep, but uh, unlike you, I was born at five years old already. I'm now 11, trapped in a five-year-old body. Uh, I was uh, purchased like a slave uh, December 2014, and I'm glad you picked me, but I kind of wish that I was with Heather Luckhart right now. She was with you when you bought me, and she's cuter. I always remember that first night. I was hoping she'd join us, but you took me home alone. Creepy. Uh, anyway, uh, I remember very well the, the night that I messed with you for the first time. You were trying to sleep upstairs, and you put me down on a table, and I wouldn't let you sleep. I kept saying, come down here and place me gently somewhere. Somewhere I could look at stuff and not lie on a table like an old used newspaper. Anyway, after ten minutes, you came down. And then you sat me up and you put a broom handle up my ass. And then I could see your entire loft. It was kind of cool. And I knew that you were a pushover. Uh, I read the book Magic by William Goldman. Oh yeah, but unlike Corky the dummy, I didn't actually ruin your sex life. Are you saying that you never ruined a date for me? Well, I'm kind of like you, with even less of a felter. So, yeah, I probably uh, blew a few. But you know what? Most people think that I'm actually you and not me. The fools. <laughs> uh, okay, listen, I know better. I, I know when to bring you out and when to hide you. Yeah, and now I barely perform. I was really mad when you bought that $2 fish puppet. It was like a plastic piece of shit at a yard sale. Then you started playing with it all the time. It made me feel so sad. You know, puppets are basically slaves. You buy us, and then we have to perform whenever you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lame. But you love performing. Yeah, I do. I admit arguing with you and changing lyrics to songs, it's fun. But also, fucking with you in front of a bunch of people, it makes my day. <sighs> okay, so who are your, some of your influences? Hmm, let's see. Uh, I like Kermit. I don't like Gonzo. Uh, I like Fo Fozzie the Bear. Uh, I don't like Tickle Me Elmo. He's like the R. Kelly of puppets. Uh, and uh, I like Grover, but the Cookie Monster, a complete fucking idiot. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, what do you have coming up? Well, in about five minutes, I'll probably have a mop handle up my ass again. I'll just be sitting in the bathroom waiting for you to come and play with me. I mean, I don't even know, man. I, it's just so sucky being a puppet. I thought my razor was dull until this interview started. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, I can be your Tony Randall whenever your guest stiffs you because they have something more important to do than be on your shitty podcast. You can be a lame letterman. I'll be your Tony Randall. Whenever you need me, I'm here. Uh, it's a vodcast, not a podcast. Whatever. I hope everyone will share this vodcast. Then I'll have more hits than all of your other guests combined, and I'll get discovered. Ah, uh, idiot. I don't hold my breath. I don't breathe. I'm a fucking puppet. Fuckity fuckity fuck. It's the internet. Yay! I can swear. Okay, that's it for my podcast. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I'll get a real human on next week, I promise. And uh, in the meantime, I'll leave you with one song. This is Alan performing several years ago at my salon, and it's him doing a little tune. So, this is it. Alan can sing a song, and I'll see you next week. If we do this fast, it won't be so desperate. <laughs> this is Alan. Hello. Hello. When I wear a glove, it will have four fingers. Or I know that it is 
submit in a midless world like this is gloves outnumber them least ten to one but mittens can be quite useful making snowballs is such fun all proctologists they wear gloves quite often it can really soften what it is they do <laughs> and the moment that I feel that you feel that way too that's when I'll buy some gloves Ooh, a little fist and a push and a shove yeah I love it that's when I'll buy some gloves for you <laughs> sorry that's creepy uh.